Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, Part 3. Next, Alice wandered until she came upon a Cheshire cat. The cat was sitting on the branch of a tree and grinning from ear to ear. Alice was beginning to wish her time in Wonderland would come to an end. Cheshire cat, Alice said, would you tell me please which way I should walk from here? That depends a lot on where you want to get to, said the cat. I don't care much where, said Alice. Then it doesn't matter which way you go, said the cat. So long as I get somewhere, Alice added. Oh, you're sure to do that, said the cat, if you only walk long enough. Alice tried another question. What sort of people live here? In that direction, said the cat, waving his right paw, lives a mad hatter. In that direction lives a March Hare. Visit either of them if you like, they're both mad. But I don't want to visit with mad people, Alice remarked. Oh, you can't help that, said the cat. We're all mad here. Then the cat vanished slowly, beginning at the end of his tail and ending with his grin, which remained some time after the rest of him had gone. Well, thought Alice, a grin without a cat, how curious. She walked a bit and came to a house with a table set up in front. The March Hare and the Mad Hatter were having tea. A Dormouse was sitting between them. The table was large, but the three of them were all crowded together at one corner of it. No room, no room, they cried out when they saw Alice coming. There's plenty of room, said Alice indignantly. She sat down in a large armchair at one end of the table. Have some lemonade, said the March Hare. Alice looked all around the table. I don't see any lemonade, she remarked. There isn't any, said the March Hare. Then it wasn't very civil of you to offer it, said Alice angrily. It wasn't very civil of you to sit down without being invited, said the March Hare. The Mad Hatter looked at Alice for some time. At last he said, why is a raven like a writing desk? A riddle, thought Alice. We shall have some fun now. I believe I can guess that, she added aloud. Do you mean that you think you know the answer to it? asked the March Hare. Exactly so, said Alice. Then you should say what you mean, the March Hare went on. I do, Alice replied. At least I mean what I say. That's the same thing, you know. Not the same thing at all, said the Mad Hatter. Why, you might as well say that I see what I eat is the same thing as I eat what I see. You might as well say, added the Dormouse, which seemed to be walking and talking in its sleep, that I breathe when I sleep is the same thing as I sleep when I breathe. It is the same thing with you, said the Mad Hatter. Then he turned to Alice again and asked, Have you guessed the riddle yet? No, I give up, Alice replied. What's the answer? I haven't the slightest idea, said the Mad Hatter. Nor I, said the March Hare. Well, thought Alice, this is the strangest tea party I ever was at in all my life. Alice stayed for a while longer and listened to the Dormouse tell a story about three sisters who lived at the bottom of a treacle well. The story was very odd indeed. Alice, confused by the tale, frequently questioned the Dormouse. At last, a frustrated Alice walked off. It's the strangest tea party I ever was at in all my life, Alice concluded.